Hey, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about how I made the hoses for this containment barrel. And to do this, I used an add-on that I purchased from the Blender Marketplace called Cable Raider. It's $14 for the personal license, and it makes it really easy to create stuff like this. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, here I am in Blender, and I've already created these two cylinder objects to act as my fittings for the hose to connect up with. And to begin, I'll hold down Shift and Alt and hit C to open the Cable Raider menu. And I'm going to click on Create Cable. And I want the cable to start at the center of this face. But if I just click on the face, the cable will start wherever I clicked. So to get the cable to start at the center, I'll hold down the control key and click on this face. And then while still holding down control, I'll click on this other face over here and that will create the cable. But it's too big and actually for this hose that I'm making, I don't need it to have any thickness at all. So I'll hit S to scale and I'll move my mouse over until it comes all the way down to a zero thickness. And then I'll click to exit and click again to get out of Cable Raider. And now I need to create a section of the hose. So I'll select this cylinder and then hit Shift D to duplicate it. And then I'll drag it over here. And I'll scale it down a little so it's a little bit smaller than the original cylinder. And then I'll scale in this direction to make it more narrow. Then I'll switch to edit mode and select each face and inset a little bit. Then I'll hit Alt E and select extrude faces along normals to extrude both faces at the same time. And I'll just extrude them out a little bit, something like that. And then I'll hit X and delete faces. And then I'm going to switch to object mode and hit Control A and apply scale. Then I'll switch back to edit mode with edge selection and I'll double click on this outer edge to select the entire edge loop. Then hold down Shift and double click on the other edge loop. Then I'll hold down Control and hit B to bevel and I'll roll my scroll wheel a couple times to add some geometry and round the corners. Now I'll switch back to object mode select this hose section and then shift select the cable then i'll hit shift alt c to open the cable raider menu and select add or edit segment and that will place the hose section at the starting point but you see it's halfway inside the cylinder so i'll hit d and that will allow me to move the object to the edge of the cylinder and it's it's a little jumpy so if you hold down shift that will give you better control over the placement and now I need to create an array of these objects along the length of this cable. So I'll hit A to start the array. Then I'll hit C and then drag my mouse to add more segments to the hose. And if you need to reposition your view, you can click to stop copying the objects and then pan around to get a better viewpoint. Then hit C again to continue creating the array. And once you get to the end, just left click to end it and click again to get out of Cable Raider. And it actually looks like it's aligning perfectly with this cylinder up here. But if you need to make any adjustments, just switch to edit mode, vertex selection, and then hit Alt Z to go into X ray mode. Select the endpoint and then just drag it forward or back to adjust it. And now I'll switch to object mode, select the hose right click and shade smooth and that's looking pretty good but I would like to fine-tune the shape a little more so I'll switch back to edit mode and that's not right um, let me get back to object mode and see what's going on here okay I know what's happening I had the hose selected let me switch to X-ray mode and select the cable object and now go to edit mode. Okay, that's better. So now I need another control point. 
So I'll select this point at the end and then shift select this point, then right click and subdivide. And that will place a new control point here in the middle. And now I can adjust the points to give the hose a little more droop to it so it's not so rigid. And that's looking a bit better. But I see the end of the hose has now pulled away from the cylinder, so I'll have to fix that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. But right now this is still a curve object, and I can continue making adjustments if I want. But if I'm happy with it, I can collapse it down to a mesh object if I switch to object mode and then right click and convert to mesh. And now if I switch to edit mode, you see it's just a simple mesh. So that's about it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.